Hey guys, it's Charlie. So today I'm doing a really exciting video for me. Um, it is over a palette that my boyfriend brought me. Um, he actually bought it for me a few, maybe a month ago, and it's been sitting in the back. It's right here. It's been sitting back there. I don't know if y'all noticed it in my last video, but I've been dying to touch it. I haven't swatched it besides doing this look. Like, I've been waiting to do this just for you all. So, real quick, I'm going to do a quick review on it, and then we'll jump right into the tutorial. So, Too Faced always kills with their packaging, and, like, it's a present. Like, I think that's really exciting. Did y'all just see that light change? Okay. It's like a little present, and the, like, lid, just, that's adorable. And then, whenever you take the lid off, it opens up into this cute, cute, cute little scenery. So they give you a sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara, the Melted Peony, Peony? I don't know if I'm saying that right, and then a eye primer. And it's just a really cute setup. I think this is only exclusive to Sephora because they do have a little Sephora shopping bag over here in the corner. I keep trying to like see myself and I'm just like, Charlie, stop. Um, but it's really cute. It's like a scene in Paris. And then the actual palette is right in here. You just gotta gently pull it out. But I think I am going to keep, like, the whole present packaging because I think it's adorable. I think I am going to keep it back there just on display because that's really cute. But to the actual palette, it's really slim. It's really nice for travel, except it doesn't click well. I mean, well, it doesn't click at all. It just kind of... So, I mean, if that's a problem for you, I wouldn't take it on traveling. But the packaging is still really cute. They're following the pink theme. Now I can't get it open. I just said, it's easy to open, but I can't open it. And then this is the color, all of the selections that you will get. So you have 1, 2, 3, 15 eyeshadows, 3 highlight shades, and 1 bronzer, 2 blushes, and a highlight shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch a few of them for you so you can see their pigmentation. Um, today on my eyes, I am wearing Party Dress, which is this pink shade, and it's a really pretty pink shade. Um, I am also wearing, these are in French. Took three years of French, you can tell how well that went. Arc de Triomphe. It's a silver shade with a little bit of pink back in it. It's really, really pretty. And then I want to see if this blue is actually pigmented or if it's just a shimmer. Oh, yeah. It's disappointing. And then let's do Eiffel. Okay, so I swatched a few of them for you. And I should have done them like this, shouldn't I? All right. So here are some of the swatches. I don't know how well you all can see those. But I'm actually kind of disappointed. I'm actually kind of disappointed in this one. It's Midnight in Paris. It's supposed to be a really pretty blue pigmented like shimmer shade. But all I'm getting is like just like some fallout like shimmery. Let's add another little swatch right there. But I mean all you really get if you blend it out is some blue shimmer. But now on this gold shade right here. This brown and this black. There is a shade right here, I promise. They are creamy and pigmented and they just feel like butter when you rub your hands in it. Hands. Fingers. Swatchy fingers. Um, but other than that, the shimmer shades are just exactly that. They are shimmer. They are glitter. So if you want them to be more pigmented, I recommend using like a MAC Fix Plus or just like wet it down. And you can maybe get the color a little bit more. But it is still a really, really nice palette. I do love it. I can't wait to experiment with it more. Today, I just did a pink look. And I am still really, really excited for this palette. Um, I'm also wearing the lip color that came with it. And I was trying to do a full-on tutorial using just this palette. 
So if you all have any questions, just let me know and I will be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So until next time, bye! Guys, I filmed that intro like 20 times, so if I seem kind of all over the place, like I don't know what's going on, I would get on a tangent and I was like, what was I just talking about? Like, where am I going with this? Like, y'all ever do that? No, just me. Okay. But really, let me know what y'all think, guys. Alright guys, so we are just going to start off by grabbing any fluffy blending brush that you have and taking the shade Cobblestone and putting it in your crease as your transition shade. Um, this shade is a like taupey brown, but it has really nice cool tone, so it has like a great undertone to it. And this is what we are going to use as our transition shade. And what I'm doing is depositing most of the eyeshadow into my crease, but then I'm lightly feathering it upward to my brow. Since I have hooded eyelids, I kind of have to make my own crease. And that's what I'm doing now. And right here we are taking this darker gray shade with a smaller, it's kind of a pencil brush, but it's a buffing pencil brush. And I like to use these to keep everything low and tight in my crease. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to focus it on the outer portion of my crease and bring it into my outer V. And by doing this, it's just going to give us a nice smoky effect. And you can apply more if you want more to have it darker. But I am just trying to smoke it out. So we are just going to keep blending. And because I was having some harsh line issues, I am just taking a fluffier blending brush and going in windshield wiper motions and circular motions just to buff those all out. Next, we're going to be taking this pink shade, and this is kind of supposed to be the star of the show, but it didn't really do what I wanted, but that's okay, because we can always fix it. And I'm just going to take that and tap it all over my lid and try to blend that in with our darker gray shade. Since it wasn't doing what I wanted, I'm going to take this silver shade and lightly dab it over top of the pink just to give it, you know, more of a nicer look. And then I'm going back in with a blending brush and just blending that all together. Now I'm taking a smaller pencil brush and highlighting the inner corner of my eyelid. And then we are going to go back in with that dark gray shade that we have on our outer V and tight line our lower lash line. And you want to make sure to really blend this out. So I'll be going back in with the pink shade and using a different pencil brush and just buffing that all out. Right now we look a little rough, but don't worry, we're going to pull it all together. So I just sped through my eyeliner because it's really simple. We're just tight lining our eyelids. I'm not doing a wing or anything because I feel like That'd be a little too drastic since I already have the darker shades and I have the pink and I just didn't want too much going on for this look. It's nice and simple but it's also smoky. So I'm now just coating my lashes with the Better Than Sex Mascara. And of course I always struggle because I have longer lashes and I always get mascara on my eyelids. So whenever that happens you just really want to let it dry for a few minutes and then just take a q-tip, a dry q-tip. And just go through and lightly flick it off. And the Better Than Sex Mascara always comes right off. So let's let it dry out. And right now I'm going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow. This shade is, I think, medium brown. And obviously right now it's a little too dark for my hair color. But I keep changing up my hair. And I just haven't ran to Sephora yet to grab a lighter shade like taupe or something that I would normally use. So just bear with me, we're going to have some fierce brows, but that's okay because fierce brows are kind of in right now, so we'll just say I'm following fashion trends. But no, really, my brows are kind of scaring me. Alright, next I am going to be taking this little melted lipstick that came with. This is Melted Peony. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this is my first time trying a melted lipstick from Too Faced. And 
I'm not as impressed as I thought I was going to be. Um, I've heard a lot of people say it was like a liquid lipstick, but this is more of just a pigmented gloss. And it may just be the one I've gotten. I'm going to try more, and I'll let you all know how I continue to like them. Um, while I was off camera, I applied some lashes since I am really bad at doing them on camera. So I just hopped off camera to apply them, and as you can see, my glue is still drying a little bit. So we were just going to go back in with our Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner and touch that up. Now I just want to say thank you all for watching and I will see you all in next week's video. Can we take a moment to talk about this? It's still wet. I washed it last night. You know.